Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. Today we will make two gnome Christmas ornaments. They're fun and easy, so let's get started. I was in Hobby Lobby recently looking at all the wood shapes and I discovered this package of flat teardrops, ovals, and circles. The teardrop is right on the top and calling out to me, gnome, gnome. Of course, I'll do something with these shapes as well. But first, let's create a gnome. There are two sizes. I'll just call this one big and small. The small one is about an inch and three eighths by two and a half tall. And the largest is about an inch and three quarters by three and an eighth tall. The first thing we'll do is select a little, these are called furniture buttons, quarter inch and three eighths of an inch, small and large, which were also from the same rack at Hobby Lobby. And we're going to glue a nose into the center of each teardrop. I'm using hot glue, but honestly, it would be much more intelligent to use wood glue or even white, thick, tacky glue. I just don't have the patience to wait for it to dry before I share this with you. So I'm using hot glue. After gluing the noses to the center of the teardrops, you can make a little higher, a little lower, it won't matter. You don't have to be perfect. I'm going to blush the nose. This is just cosmetic blush and a Q-tip. Be generous with the blush. You want it to really show. You could also paint the nose if you like. And next we'll glue a fur strip for hair around the back of this shape. For the large gnome, my strip is about three quarters or an inch tall and maybe two and a half or three inches wide. I'm going to glue this right across the middle, overlapping the front a little bit. It does not have to reach the nose. We have another piece for the beard to go in front. So this is the idea, but before we do that, I'm going to apply a line of hot glue about a quarter of a quarter of an inch down. And I'm going to fold the top edge down. It doesn't have to be super neat or perfect, but that way we don't have a raw edge at the top of the fur. And it looks a little bit neater and a little bit more professional. Make sure your um, pile is going down before you get started. And then I'll apply some hot glue and glue the center of this strip to the back. Then I'll wrap these around to the front. I want it a little bit below the nose, but it doesn't have to come all the way in. That looks about right. Then I'll repeat for the small gnome. This strip is a little bit smaller, not much. Again, I'll apply glue about a quarter of an inch down from the top, fold it in, just so that we don't have a raw edge of fur at the top. And this time I think I'll apply the glue to the fur, which is tricky but it works just as well. Glue the center. Oh, that's gonna to be too long. That's too much coming around the front, so I'm going to trim those a little bit. If you have junky scissors, this is a good job for your junky scissors. I don't really have junky scissors though. <laughs> when my scissors get junky, I just buy new ones. That's really all you need to wrap around. Here's how it looks in the back. 
There's the big one. Now let's cut the beards for the front. I made a little pattern for the small gnome. This is a two by two inch square, which I folded in half and then just trimmed into the shape of a triangle or a beard shape. And then for the bigger one, this is only a little bit bigger, two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and the same thing. I folded it in half and trimmed it to this shape. And then I cut out these beards. Just, there we go. So I cut those beards out from my fur. So again, I'm going to apply a line of glue a quarter of an inch down and then fold it in. Hard to be neat on this project. I kind of get little bits of fluff and glue all over. Now let's glue these beards on. I'm going to apply a generous amount of glue right along that line where the edge of the fur is folded over. And then I'll glue it just below the nose and if those edges, those points of the triangle are off the edge of the wood, it's absolutely okay. It's almost better. And stick the beard on. I cut out the fur very carefully, trying not to cut any of the actual hair of the fur and only through the backing. Those both look great. Now let's make the hats. For the hats, I'm using scraps of sweater, and this is the sweater that I have left over from making the larger gnomes. For the small gnome, the base of the hat will be about three inches across. And then I'll just cut it up to however much room I have, whatever looks right. This is a piece, I think, from the yoke. And this is just how big it is. Notice that I didn't cut all the way to a point because when I fold this together and I sew the raw edges, I want to utilize as much of the height of the hat as I can. So I'll fold this in half, pin and stitch up this side seam, which will be the back seam. This is not a science. Your sweater might be not as stretchy, it might be thinner, it might be a different fiber. This is 100% wool. And so you might have to experiment a little bit with it. I sewed up this edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Looks good. I'm gonna trim the point a little bit and maybe right here. And then I'll turn it right side out. Then I will try it on. This is the small gnome. That is plenty big enough. I'm turning under a quarter of an inch and I will hem and gather the edge. I'm sewing this by hand, just a running stitch in and out, in and out. And I like to use a thimble to push the needle through. I'm going to go around twice. <laughs> okay, I've stitched all the way around and I'm back at the center where I started. So let's try on the hat. This is how it's going to look. I like it. So I'll secure my thread right here inside by taking a couple of back stitches. And once again, I'll pull the hat on just to check the fit. It's nice if the fit is a little bit generous because you'll be able to manipulate it a little more. 
and maybe give it a little fold or a little crease or a little wrinkle or something. I'll start by gluing the back. I just want to be sure that I have the back secured with the seam in the center. Now we want to make sure that little nose is going to show. So I will glue the center front above the nose up here. And then I also applied the glue to the sides of the nose. I've pressed the hat into the hot glue to secure it in the front. And I made sure that the nose shows. This is the small gnome. So it takes a little bit smaller decoration. I'm using red and white Baker's twine. I'm going to wrap it a couple of times, maybe three. One, two, three. And I secured it with a stitch at the beginning. I'll tie a small little bow. And we are going to arrange the fur a little bit later. And we're done. Just a small bow. I don't like the bow, the loops, or the streamers to obscure the front of the face too much. So I like to keep the bow tidy and small. Now before I trim it, I'm going to glue a decoration. I tried all sorts of things, but my favorite for the small gnome is this little snowflake sticker. I'm gonna hot glue it. I don't trust the adhesive. It's just designed to stick to paper, not to all of this. So we'll help it along with a little bit of glue. And now I'll trim my streamers. And then I'll sew a hanging loop. I just stitched it through the top of the hat. Now I'm going to style the beard. I want to form a mustache. So I'll separate the very top front into left and right. Okay, and now I have some hairspray. I'm going to spray it on my fingers and shape this section into a, into a mustache. And then this side into a mustache as well. Nice and full. That looks good. I like it. That looks really cute. Okay, now for the second gnome. This one's a little bit bigger, so I'm going to cut the base of the hat about three and a half inches, maybe even four, and then just use whatever I have, which is a little more than four inches. Then I'll fold right sides together and stitch up that edge. That's plenty big enough. So I, again, I will fold under a quarter of an inch and hem, hand stitch a hem around the bottom. I'm using a red quilting thread for the hand sewing. I've gone around once, but I'm gonna go around one more time. Let's make sure it fits. I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna tie off the thread and starting in the back center, I'll apply some glue to the wood here above the back of the head and slide this on and secure it. Now to decorate the brim, this time I'll use a green and white baker's twine. I'll secure it with one stitch and wrap it maybe three times. One, two, three. And tie a little bow, just like the small gnome ornament. Don't pull too tight. 
If you pull too tight, it can kind of dent into the sweater and just make the hat look strange. So instead of pulling it tight, we're going to just secure it with that initial stitch. I don't want the decoration to overwhelm the face. We have so little of the face that's showing as it is. So I like to make the bow small. And my favorite decoration for this size is this uh, glitter holly sticker. That's also from Hobby Lobby. I use glue to secure it. And then I'll tie off those streamers so they don't unravel. Keep the streamers short. And then a hanging loop through the top. And then again, we'll style the mustache with some hairspray. That looks good. Here are both of them. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.